I can't explain it. What this really means on a more mystical note is that man is the only being capable of transcendence. He stands outside the world, but he's also in that world, right? In other words, he nucleates the opposites. He nucleates duality and he nucleates time. What this means on a philosophical note is that he is both the subject and the object, right? Subject just means the self, the viewer, and object is anything else in the world that you're looking at. This computer, this table, and the people around me are objects in psychological parlance. However, that perceiver, the subject, can also view his own body and think about himself. So he himself is an object of his own consciousness. Well, wait a minute. I thought there was duality. But if I can look at myself as an object, but I'm also the subject, then I've just nucleated the total illusion that there is such a thing as a subject-object dichotomy. And believe me, this has caused a lot of problems in the hundreds of years of philosophy. People have really been driving themselves crazy over that point. Again, we can't have time to really explore it, but it's a fascinating concept because you 